We want our viewers to take a look at this. A boat was tossed right on a lawn in Stony Point during the storm. Yeah, that's a boat sitting as if it's parked on the street, but not supposed to be there. It all took part during the Sandy on Monday. It's just part of the damage that homeowners who were evacuated got to check out today. They were let back into the Stony Point area for the first time. News 12's Ty Milburn joins us from Stony Point with more on just what those homeowners found. Ty, it had to be devastating for them. Absolutely was, Janine. We certainly can't underestimate the damage here in this community. Take a look. We're actually on, ironically, Irene Lane, but you can see in this mobile home community, uh, just garbage and debris, people's homes destroyed by the Superstorm Sandy. Two hours, that's all the time that homeowners who live in the Baymar Mobile Home Community in Stony Point had to inspect their homes and salvage any belongings they could. On Sunday, they were evacuated from this low-lying area of town before Superstorm Sandy hit. And when they came back on Wednesday, the damage was far worse than they could have imagined. This is the worst I've ever seen in my entire life. I used to manage this park for 20 years. I never seen it look like this. This is horrible. Widespread flooding, garbage and debris everywhere, and boats that used to be parked in the marina are now in their front yards. Last year we had Irene, and right. it was crazy then, and this year it's ridiculous. It's worse. No home in this community was hit harder than Anthony Lopez's house. First the high winds tore off his roof, and then a tree fell on it. Almost everything is destroyed. If things couldn't get any worse, Lopez doesn't have insurance or the resources to recover from this devastation. To tell you the truth, uh, I feel like probably what people during Katrina felt. Helpless. You know, where do you go from here? What do you do? Down the road on Beach Street, things didn't look any better. More than a dozen homes were gutted on one block. A catastrophe, you know. Just uh, unbelievable. Homeowners here are hoping that Stony Point will be declared a disaster area so they can be eligible for federal money to help them begin to pick up the pieces of their homes and then their lives. Fina, I mean, if, if they don't come in and help out, right. you know, half these people are not going to be able to repair their houses. And homeowners are not allowed to live here. In fact, you have O&R crews here. They've turned all the power off. And at this point, it is not clear when a lot of these folks can come back. But before they come back, they have to begin the hard work of kind of repairing their homes. Janine, it could take weeks, maybe months. We're in Stony Point. Ty Milburn, News 12. Janine. Ty, I have to ask you a question before we let you go. This certainly looks like one of the okay. areas in the entire Hudson Valley hardest hit. What is it like talking to those individuals who are basically on the verge of tears because they have lost everything? Well, as you said earlier, Janine, they're, they're completely devastated. A lot of these folks, particularly in this community, don't have a lot of money. So their major concern is where do they stay and where do they get the money to rebuild their homes? As you talk to the one guy in my story, and he said, again, he feels like they're being left out to dry and really have no way to turn. Right now, they're trying to get FEMA to come in and declare this area a disaster area. And tomorrow, town officials have a meeting with FEMA officials. So we're crossing our fingers that these folks get the help that they need. Yeah, I, I, we, we know that's what's going on at this point, Ty. We'll have to wait and see if FEMA does come through. Certainly when you view that devastation, right. we're certainly hopeful those homeowners will be helped. Thank you very much for that.